In a recent video, I mentioned the term narcissization. I haven't heard of this in the English speaking world yet, but narcissization, narcissization in Spanish, it means to regain your narcissism, your healthy narcissism. Okay, we talk about healthy narcissism because Freud used to talk about healthy narcissism. The term self-esteem wasn't there yet. We are using more self, the self-esteem term now. But in the psychoanalytic theory, uh, the victim of narcissistic abuse needs has one task, and that is re narcissization that's the re-narcissization that is needed after narcissistic abuse and so the survivor has this task of self-care regain self-esteem because the narcissist erodes your healthy narcissism one thing to understand many people don't like to talk about self-esteem and narcissism as a healthy thing because they they assume narcissism is all bad but in reality is a necessary part of our personality every personality disorder has um it's it's the extreme of aspects of our personality so for example the the histrionic personality disorder is pathological because i if i'm a histrionic person i have this disorder i will try to manipulate you and to seduce you and to act out and dramatize and create situations and try to entice you in order to get whatever i want right from you to manipulate you and that's not healthy but there's this part of us that is histrionic for example when in my videos i i sort of edit certain parts where i sort of act reenact you know and that's fun and that's healthy to act actors are not pathological they're normal people usually they're very nice people the thing is they they use their histrionism to act to you know and that's good but the thing is, so my point was, we have different aspects of our personality that if they are enhanced too much, they are pathological, and then we have a problem, it's a personality disorder. So narcissism, the same thing. We do have narcissism in ourselves. Otherwise, we wouldn't have any agency to do stuff. You know, we, we wouldn't even do anything for ourselves. We, we would be uh, amoebas, okay? <laughs> so we need narcissism and now people are talking more about self-esteem which is okay and i understand the frustration of some survivors where they don't like to talk about narcissism as a healthy thing because they assume it's all bad but in reality if you study um research on narcissism like elsa Roningstam, she talks about agency and she's been studying narcissism for a long time and agency is what it's what makes us do things for ourselves, do stuff and, you know, have a bath, <laughs> go to the shopping mall, go to, I don't know, get milk and um, eat, you know, plan a future, do, you know, uh, an, an enterprise, do things, be productive. And so that's good. It's normal. But when it's pathological, it's because it goes out of the Gauss bell, you know, it, it's out it's too much manipulative and it turns dark so the victim has this task of re-narcissization and so i hope i'm saying this correctly in english but it's it's narcissization okay the term so this is re-narcissization the victim the the survivor if you prefer needs to get that back so self-care self-esteem work Mm, not only that, being able to stand your truth, to remain in your center, that, that's the task. I hope this was interesting and I will see you soon. Bye for now.